What's in the go bag? Let's find out. All right, we got it all broken down into sections. We got a sleeping bag, first aid kit, some miscellaneous tools, shemog, that, that, and that are water. That has some clothing in it and a couple of, uh, has a camping stove and one other thing. That has food. Some loose items are my rain poncho, bivy, and a compass. So let's break this down and see what's inside each thing. All right, the water system. This is a case to carry the hydration bladders inside the backpack. Um, I have two hydration bladders. Probably only use one, but I like to have one for backup. I have a steel canteen. Um, I went with a steel canteen because if push comes to shove, I suppose I could boil water in it if I needed to. Um, hope I don't ever get in that bad a situation. And then a Sawyer mini water filter is my primary way to get clean water if I need to get clean water. Um, they're really handy little system. Just very small, kind of like a life straw, but more compact. Got some collapsible bags with those. And then I have uh, water purification tablets, which I probably would never use unless I absolutely had to because they taste like crap, I think. But I have them in case I need to because they will clean water. Food, try to keep it pretty simple. Just stuff that doesn't taste like complete crap has a decent shelf life and is pretty easy to eat in any situation. Um, individual packets of food out of different MREs, um, entrees, side dishes, just individual things, good shelf life. These are Korean military MREs. They're like a rice and beef dish to add some hot water. They're actually pretty good. Um, food bars, simple, long shelf life. And then these are probably my go-to. Add water to these and they uh, heat up in the bag. They're actually pretty tasty. And that's pretty much what I do for basics for food in there. All right, first aid kit. This kind of evolves with me as I learn new medical skills and take a little time to learn a little bit more. Um, this tends to change, take things out, put things in. Currently, I have a lidocaine roller in there to help numb an area. Some gauze. Um, little medicines you can get at the gas station. Ibuprofen, Tylenol, Pepto-Bismol, just a bunch of different little ones. Some uh, medical tape. Sterilized scalpels. Some bandages. Wound closure strips and uh, sutures. A blood clotting sponge. This is eye wash. You can also use it to help clean out a wound. Vent seal. Some K95 masks. And an Israeli compression bandage. Alright, just a few miscellaneous things. Um, spare shirt, underwear and socks. Little sewing kit. A little camping stove, which I would probably only use to make some coffee. And I don't care how bad the emergency is. Coffee is always very important if you don't want me to kill people. So, um, that's that. All right, it all goes neatly back into that bag. A um, couple of things I didn't cover, I think, are I usually have a little notebook in there with a pencil, some folded up maps. I take a harmonica with me, but for the most part, that's it. Um, that's the bag I'd use to try and survive a few days in the event of natural disaster, getting stranded somewhere while I'm working, alien invasion, zombie apocalypse. It all kind of falls under the same umbrella, and that's it.